بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين. Okay, so this is the continuation of uh, the tutorial of the turtle seam cleaner. So I remind that in the previous tutorial we have already completed uh, the uh, move forward function. Okay, and so now we can actually test. <coughs> this is so this is our application and here. We uh, built a method that is the method move. It takes three parameters, the speed. Okay, for example, here I'm, I'm going to put speed one, the distance, and also forward or backward. I'm going to choose forward, and then the robot actually moves. Now, the objective is to make the rotate operation. Okay, so we need to make also the rotate operation. And for this, I'm going first to uh, declare the rotate method okay so here is the declaration of the rotate method and like the move method it takes a speed and here we have an angular speed the angle to rotate and also whether it is clockwise or counterclockwise so let me first clarify that there is a convention for rotation so if we consider this is the turtle sim robot and this is the x coordinate and the y coordinate so a positive rotation is considered to be counterclockwise okay so this kind of rotation like this it's it's a positive rotation by convention so theta here is positive and if the rotation is made clockwise okay so in this case we have a negative angle okay theta is negative in this case Okay, so based on this, I'm going now to implement the rotate method. Okay, so here we have void, rotate, angular speed, relative angle to turn, clockwise or counterclockwise. So basically, the rotation will be around the z axis. Okay, so the component of linear velocity will all be equal to zero because we are not going to perform any linear, uh, any linear motion. So we are going to perform an angular motion and for this now uh, we need actually to put a certain value in the z-axis component of the angular uh, velocity of the velocity message. So here we define a twist message and as you know it's composed of linear velocity and angular velocity. Okay, linear velocity will be all equal to zero and angular velocity now we are going to specify the values. So here we have two cases whether the rotation is clockwise or counterclockwise. Okay, so we have to take this into account and this will be the code. So if the rotation is clockwise, the z component of angular velocity, okay, as I mentioned here, clockwise it means negative value. So I'm going to put a negative value minus the absolute value of the angular speed so this will impose a negative value to have a rotation in uh, the clockwise orientation or direction and a positive value if it is counterclockwise else okay so now what you have to do we have to so actually if we publish a message now Okay, if we publish a message, okay, the robot will keep rotating. Okay, so I'm going now to publish a message while, okay, keep publishing a message while the current angle, okay, is, equal, is smaller to the relative angle. So, of course, in the beginning, the current angle should be equal to zero, okay? Because uh, the current angle to rotate is equal to zero because we still we did not rotate. And then we have to increment this current angle over time, okay? So how to do this is the same way that we did for the uh, linear motion. We are going to calculate the time. Now we have the angular, we have the angular speed, okay? We have the angular speed. So actually the current angle, okay, which we will measure, 
will be equal to the angular speed, okay, which is in radian per second, multiplied by, okay, the current time, okay, let's say T1, and T0, it's the time we start the rotation. So what is T1 and T0? T0 will be the time just before entering the loop, okay, I'm going to take the time before entering the loop using gross time now, okay, and T1 will be the current time measured inside the loop, okay, and here it's going to give us the current angle. Of course, I should not forget to make gross spin once, okay, and finally I will have to sleep for some time, okay, and here I have to define a loop rate in a, okay so my loop rate it's going to uh, to execute 100 time per second maybe this is too much so I'm going to put it 10 times per second that should be fine okay because otherwise we are going to overhang the buffers and that's all we need to do and finally if we leave the loop we need to stop we need to stop the robot and for this I'm going to publish a message with an angular velocity equal to zero. So actually this method will make the robot rotate. So let's test uh, the rotation of the robot now in the same way. Okay, I'm going, I'm going to test now. So we go to the main function. Okay, we request the user to, to enter the angular speed, it's going to be degree per second, how much degree per second, and the desired angle in degree, and finally specify clockwise or counterclockwise, and finally we are going to call the rotate function. Of course, uh, Ross actually understand angles in radian, and we as human we understand angles in degree, so we need actually to make a conversion degrees to radian. This function doesn't exist, so I have to define it. Okay, I'm going to define the method degrees to radian. Okay, it takes here uh, a double angle in degrees. Okay, and it's going to return an angle Okay, it's going to return an angle in uh, in radian. Okay, let's 